wasn't necessarily a thing of beauty, but their final result is for Oregon, who struggled for about 22, 23 minutes tonight with Western Oregon before pulling away for an 88 to 60 win. Along with Don McLean, Roxy Bernstein with you. And Tyler Dorsey, a career high 25 tonight. The Ducks did get off to a hot yeah, start. And that was the interesting part. A lot of times when you're playing a lesser opponent, you, you're not into the game early, but Oregon was, and they got out to a big lead and then just took their foot off the gas pedal. But give Western Oregon credit. They started digging in defensively, getting some stops, and then they got hot from behind the line. And all of a sudden, it was a game. But at the end, Oregon used their strength and their size and just kind of overwhelmed Western Oregon inside. In the second half, the Ducks held Western Oregon at 24% for the field while they shot 62% themselves. You could tell what was talked about at halftime from Oregon was, let's use our size and our length you know, to push this lead out. And that's what they did. They got out in transition more. And Oregon spun this game, this game around real quick. Got the lead out big and cruised the rest of the way. So Tyler Dorsey, a career high 25 points. Elgin Cuckoo had a strong effort with 19. And it's Oregon, their final non-conference tune-up. They're 11 and two entering Pac-12 play with a play, Oregon State on Sunday. They're a contender in this league for a league championship. They're incorporating some new pieces. It was nice that they got Dylan Ennis back tonight. It's going to be a really, really good conference season. So after an eight day layoff, the Ducks return to action and they pull away with a strong second half against Western Oregon. The final 88 to 60 over the Wolves. For Don McLean, Roxy Burns inviting you to keep it locked at pack-12.com all season long.